Here we have an example where we have powers of sine and cosine, and the power on sine is odd. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to rewrite sine cubed of x. Now that's the same thing as sine. We need to think of 3 as a number 2k plus 1, meaning if we subtracted 1 from it, it would become an even number. It would become 2. Well, what is 2 divided by 2? It's 1. So we're going to take, it's going to be the same as 2 times 1 plus 1. So this k will always be, if you subtracted 1 from it and then divided it by 2, what you would get. So we're going to write this as 2 times 1 plus 1. Sorry, that 2 didn't come out very well. Okay. Now, we can write this because of our identity that um, sine squared of x is equal to 1 minus cosine squared of x. We can rewrite this as 1 minus cosine squared of x to that k value, to the first power, times sine of x. So putting this into our original integral, we're going to have the integral of... 1 minus cosine squared of x times sine of x times still our cosine to the fourth of x dx. Now, this just leaves us with one sine of x and then powers of cosine. So what we're going to do is we're going to let u be equal to cosine of x, the one that we have lots of powers of, and then du is equal to, well, if we take the derivative of cosine, it's negative sine dx. Now, we are going to have to multiply both sides by negative 1, so we'd have negative du equals sine of x dx. So this negative sine of x dx, that's going to become a negative du, so we'll put a negative out in front of the integral, and then um, we'll plug in our u's. So I'm going to go to a new screen. And so when we do our substitution, well, let me go ahead and write. We have the integral of 1 minus cosine squared of x times sine of x times cosine to the fourth of x dx. So remember, our u is equal to cosine of x, so, and then our du is negative. So we're going to have negative, and the sine of x dx becomes our du, the negative du. And then we're going to have 1 minus u squared times u to the fourth. And you'll see this now just becomes um, a relatively easy um, polynomial problem. So we can distribute that u to the fourth. We're going to have the integral of u to the fourth minus u squared times u to the fourth is u to the sixth du. Okay, so now we're just going to use our power rule. So we're going to have a negative out front, which we'll distribute in a minute. We'll have u to the fifth over five minus u to the seventh over seven plus c. So if I distribute the negative, we get negative u to the fifth over five plus u to the seventh over seven plus c. And remember our u is equal to cosine of x, so our last step is just to plug that back in. Um, so our final answer would be negative cosine to the fifth of x over five plus cosine to the seventh of x over 7 plus c.